the hardest thing to do is sometimes is to admit that you need help, right? The hardest thing to do is to, to go up to somebody and face the fact that you can't do it by yourself. Um, people have been indebted with this pride that, oh, okay, I can do this by myself. I don't need your help. I can make it on my own, you know. That's the mentality that I have for the longest. I wouldn't accept I wouldn't accept anybody giving me a home to go to. I would I would rather be by myself. I wouldn't accept people saying, Look, I can help you do this. You just need to trust me and let me help you or whatever. And I said, No. I don't accept help from nobody. I ain't get help when I was younger. I sh- I didn't need it then, and I sure don't need it now or whatever. Yeah. That pride that keeps you from moving forward with people who want to help you. And a few years ago when I actually accepted that help given my situation. Now I'm in a position where I can honestly say that I definitely, unarguably, wouldn't have made it to this point in my life had there not been those people who had helped me get this far. And I think that's that's what a, a basic but very important understanding for people, that you did not and you cannot get where you are or where you want to be without that help. And so many people are defined with this principle that I can make this all by myself. I made it this far by myself. I can get where I need to go by myself. And that's obvious. That's honestly not the case. Um, Uncle Cleve had that help, whether he think he did or not. You know, Clifton Tauber had that help. All life's successful leaders had this help available to them, and they took it. Um, and the help is always there. It's just you. Some people, times people can be blind to the help. They can be so blinded by the fact that they can be stuck in their own world that they don't un- honestly see the help that is available to them. I'm a victim of that. I'm a victim. I'm a person that has so much help in my life, and I was too blinded to see that people really did have their best interests in mind when it, when it came to me and my cir- my circumstances and my situation. But I was so angry and so blinded that I didn't understand that people really were trying to help me. And when, you, when you're in an environment that tells you, oh, you're not a man if you don't do it by yourself, then you start thinking, oh, okay, well, fine, then I'm not going to get no, nobody's help. Once you break that cycle, I think that's when you understand that, you know, people are out there to help you. You cannot do this by yourself. Service is service for a reason. Service is helping other people. If you can't accept that service, how are you going to expect to serve others? You know, you can't can't help anybody unless you help yourself. I think, you know, once you accept that and, uh, and understand it and go after it, and pursue it, I think that's when you'll be able to change your life. You can't do this alone. No matter how much you think you can, you can't do it. You need that help.